His intellect is just firing all the time. And he's so much of a visionary that at times it can even be kind of difficult to understand what he's talking about or what he means. He'll say things that often seem a little crazy. And I think this is actually something he's engineered himself to do. He can't be conventional in his industry. If he's conventional when it comes to designing microchips, uh, everyone else will just copy what he's doing. He has to do things that look a little crazy, so crazy in fact that his competitors won't follow where he's going. This is where the whole GPU supercomputing effort came from. For 10 years, Nvidia lost money doing this. It was not an obvious play. And none of his, uh, Intel, AMD, none of them really followed suit. It was just Nvidia doing this. So then when GPU connected with AI, they were sort of alone. They were alone to enjoy the profits from it because they were so far away from what their competitors were doing. This is Jensen's business logic. He calls it a, the zero billion dollar market. He's always looking for small or even non-existent markets where he can build a product that functionally just has almost no customers at all and then grow an entire market sector around it. That's what Jensen did with AI hardware. There was no AI hardware segment. That was not a thing that existed 15 years ago. Jensen invented 